There's a lot of work that goes on in being a contractor besides just the actual doing the work. And a lot of people don't realize that. There's a lot of things, a lot of footwork that goes into it. You have contracts, there's estimates, there's all sorts of things. And I think it's pretty interesting actually. Showing some of the other very important components of my job because having your own business, you gotta be constantly communicating with new people and finding new work. And what is challenging, I would tell anybody to go for it if that's what you would like to do. There's many benefits of working for yourself, but at the same time, there's a lot of things that are pretty tough. To I'm on my way to another estimate. I'm glad I got a few days off because I got some time to work on my own bathroom, but I gotta follow up with new leads and keep it going in order to get myself more work. Just got done that one. It really is the planning and the analysis that takes the most time for any projects because a lot of them are, are quite difficult and challenging to figure out the best case scenario to satisfy the issue. This particular thing, it was a concrete driveway that wasn't draining properly, so there's a multitude of ways you could correct it and then also some things that wouldn't work. You gotta weigh all the differences and just figure out the best case scenario, the best thing to do. Also a big part of what I do and estimating is also research because every single last thing and job that I take on, I don't know every last aspect and sometimes I gotta research it a little further to make sure that it's done right. I have a background in the ability of reading construction plans so it makes it easier to me because I can read specifications on things and see the detail of the manufacturers way that they want their product installed. That's what I'm going to do right now is to look at some, some metal roofing. It's uh, actually called a standing seam metal roof. It's a very modern new application. It's higher end and it's what the customer's asking for. It's what they prefer. I just got to go into the distributor and check it out, get some product samples and etc. and then present them to the customer. So there's a lot of it, a lot that goes into it before I can even achieve and you know get that job in the contract. I got to know exactly what I'm doing, how the install goes and have various options available for the customer to choose from as well. I'm pulling up the Cardinal. This is one of the distributors where I get a lot of building products. I'm going to get some samples right now and hopefully impress the customer. That was pretty easy, fast and painless. That's why I like going to the distributors because they got the best customer service. And especially when you're dealing with higher end materials, it just always, the manufacturers always make it a lot easier for the install process and the material acquirement. So here's some of the samples I got. Nice brochure, shows what the product is, shows some of the different colors available that the customer can choose from. Now I just gotta sell the job. Bam! Just left my estimate. Seems like a good one. Guy was very positive and he was impressed by the materials I had to show him. It's a really nice neighborhood, so. I really hope I get this one. Bam! Bam! Governor's house. A real nice neighborhood back here. A lot of guys come out to neighborhoods like this and they just charge up just on the strength that bam, there's a nice house. And it's like, they charge up 50% or something from their normal bids and that's how they lose work. That's the thing too, because even if the people got the money, you gotta be professional and charge a reasonable amount. I mean, I'm not gonna overcharge this because the guy's in a you know, really nice neighborhood and it looks like the people got a lot of money around here. That's not right, that's how you lose bids. You still gotta be professional, you gotta be reasonable, do the job right, and at a reasonable cost, it's be profitable for me at the same time, but I'm not gonna overcharge. I got that roofing estimate that I was showing is getting the material and figuring out, working out the estimate. So I'm really happy about that. Also, I'm going to another contract, so I got two contracts to sign today. It always feels good to sell a job, especially after a lot of hard work and prep went into it even before I had to, you know, had the job, is my hard work pays off. And like I showed you with the materials and the samples and I was looking to impress the customer and I really did. And pretty soon I'll be doing those jobs, so I'll film them and show you what's up with that.